All right, guys, this will be a quick video on how to import uh, scan data from a Ferro X or S series um, scanner into scene without utilizing uh, scenes built in, uh, you know, project transfer. So I'll start scene. Once scene is started, I pulled the SD card out of the actual scanner and uh, here we go. So now when I plug in the SD card, you can ignore, if you're not going to do the automatic project transfer, you can ignore uh, this message by just hitting no. And I always recommend one thing, once you have the SD card actually in your computer, uh, this is the typical uh, you know file structure that you'll see, always a scans, a project, a preview, and then there's a backup. These two are, if you are... Uh, creating a log file on your scanner. So these are usually not utilized for actual scan data, but your scans are in the scans folder on your SD card. And what I recommend um, is uh, backing these up uh, to an external drive or a different drive on your computer. So if I go into my data folder, backup, I created a folder and you can dump it into a project, maybe create a brand new uh, folder over here. We'll say scans backup for example or let's do it raw scans raw or whatever your project name is and for the sake of uh, the video here i will not be uh, moving a lot of these scans because they are somewhat bigger but let's say i'll just grab these guys i'll hit copy and i'll uh, drag and drop or copy and paste them in here this is uh, safe because of the fact that you're creating a copy of your actual files and you're not working with the raw data from the SD card, but neither one is a, a, a deal breaker. So if you don't do the part that I'm showing right now, it doesn't really mean that it's not going to import, but it's always nice to have a backup. So as this is, this thing is backing up, I will create a brand new project over here. I'll call it importing scans. Again, up to you, of course, what the project name uh, is. I'll go into import and you can hit import scans. And when I hit import scans, I'll now find, uh, let's just do it from the SD card. So if I have the SD card, same one that we just backed up, I can go in here and these are folders, but these folders are uh, considered files for scene. So you wanna just drag and drop one by one. You can see that it's actually in here or I can import uh, where did we, I'll go uh, on purpose now, actually grab it from our backup location. So I'll, over here, I'll, I'll grab, I don't know, four of them. So again, drag and drop. And you see that it imports now five scans that we actually had. Um, if you try to do mm, uh, this thing, so let me go into the SD card, for example, once again. If you try to go into here and actually open uh, this file that resides inside the FLS folder, you'll get an error. And that error is because uh, this is really not the actual data that you're importing. You need to import the whole folder. So as far as scene is concerned, an FLS file is uh, the folder itself. So this is typical. If you need to now re-import that uh, scan number 11, you actually want to uh, import the whole folder that way. And now you'll see that it doesn't actually fail doesn't have any failure over here and we have scan number 11 over here and now you're primed to actually work with it so remember it does not matter uh, what source it's coming from if it's coming from the backup folder where you actually stored your scans like this or uh, once again you can see that it actually imported so we have scan number six over here or if you want to grab it directly from the SD card I tend to uh, like grabbing it from my backup location because if I move my SD card files and for some reason something happens to the files, I'm actually corrupting my uh, own raw data from the SD card here. So I try not to do that too much, but you see now I have, yeah, disregarding a couple of scans, but I just imported a lot of these scans um, into the project. And now I'm ready to actually start working with the project. All right, hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.